Now, w w when it comes to our well-being as a state, one of the biggest challenges facing young people is the proliferation and danger of social media. The research is now proving what most of us instinctively already know. Social media and focus-destroying apps are negatively affecting the mental health of us all, but especially our youth, in profound and debilitating ways. Beginning in 2009, mental health issues among students exploded. Emergency room visits for self-harm by young people between the ages of 10 and 19 skyrocketed. For young women, that number more than doubled. More than doubled. And that was before the pandemic. If these types of numbers were associated with any other disease, we would be focusing every resource and effort to fix what is broken. But somehow, because it is technology related, We've done almost nothing as a country. This is unacceptable. In Utah, we're done waiting for someone else to solve this problem. To the social media companies who have been reckless in protecting our youth, Utah parents are putting you on notice. If you insist on fighting us, be assured that me, we are more than ready for a fight and we will win. Or you can join us and be part of the solution. With this in mind, I'm pleased to announce that we are working closely with Tanner Tusher's dad, Capri Colomore's dad, and yes, even Landon McHale's dad, <laughs> on legislation that will prevent social media companies from collecting data from our kids, limit the use of cell phones in the classroom, and empower parents to reduce this toxic technology in our homes.